everyone. Uh, today I'm going to take you through my done for you shot list. Now this is a step by step of what you're going to need in order to get ready for your photo shoot. Now I can just move to the next slide. Right, okay. Um, so who is this video for? It's for entrepreneurs, impresarios, artists, consultants, executives, anyone who's feeling overwhelmed about planning a business photo shoot that's going to move them to the next level. Um, anyone in business whose offering is absolutely amazing but whose visual storytelling is quite lacking in quality. And anyone who'd like to improve their social proof, you know those little icons and stuff that you can have after your name saying, I was featured here and this person published me. And um, it's just something that when people come to your website, they're like, oh, wow, she was featured in um, Vogue. All right, I, I'll listen to her, that sort of thing. So who am I? I'm a master photographer. My name is Mandy Lynn, and I'm also a B-schooler and have been working on getting my business um, out in front and center and my story heard. And I love, absolutely adore working with businesswomen and helping them to get them seen. Um, I have over 40 national and international awards for my work, and I just can't wait to share with you um, what I've created here. Now, why am I giving this all away? Well, the world needs people to be living in their slipstream of gifts. And I have this vision, this dream of a world where everybody is able to live their natural t gifts and talents without being held back by other people, by mental garbage, by whatever is going on. So I'm, I don't know, I just think a world like that would be absolutely epic and I am working to get there. Um, and I know that you, if you are working in your slipstream, you need a way of telling the story of what you're doing so that people who are meant to be buying from you or meant to be working with you are going to be able to know about you. So um, I want to show you how to tell your story. Now, I can't do everybody's photo shoot as much as I'd love to, but I can help you to tell your story even if I'm not there. And this is how I can do it by going through the shot list. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you through my Trello board that I've created. Now, this is something that I can have on my phone. I take it with me on my shoots, and it's a checklist that I can go through. But more than a checklist, it helps my clients before they actually, I ever pick up a camera and aim at them. They're working on this the week or two before, or more, before I come and actually do a shoot with them. And um, this helps them to really get to the core, to the heart of their business strategy, um, the heart of what it is that they're providing that makes them unique. And by identifying all of this, then I'm able to illustrate it photographically for them. But I need to get really good information to start with. So the first thing I have them do is I have them open up and create a Trello board. It's really easy. You go to the website Trello.com and you um, sign up for your own um, your own account. And then you're going to go, um, once you've signed up for my email list, I'll send you the link to this page and you can go to it and I will, um, and, and you can have access to it. So um, what I need you to do is once you get on this page, um, you're going to need to go over here to um, copy board and you're just going to copy this board and make a copy for yourself and name it whatever you want to name it um, like you know, my awesome photo shoot board whatever um, is going to help you to find it again um, once you do that then it becomes editable if that makes sense and you can change all the little bits on it um, and then if you're going to be working with me, if I'm going to be helping you on your photo shoot, you need to just come over to the members section and add me as a member. And I am um, Mandy8. Um, so if you just type in at Mandy8, it'll pop this little icon up and you can just click on and let me in. Um, and then that way I'll be able to add stuff to your board as well. Um, what I want you to do is it's actually not the first three, it's the first four tabs because I've just added a new tab. So I want you to be working on these first four tabs. Um, and I'll show you what they are. And the rest of the tabs are optional and you can go through those and add bits as you think of it. Now the first part is brand components. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to the website um, Pinterest and I want you to create a mood board. Now 
Um, Pinterest is a great way to gra grab images and by doing this you're going to be able to pull together all kinds of different um, uh, pictures of headshots of just feel and energy that you want in your photo shoot and then that way I can look and I'll be like oh, okay she wants really energetic and colorful and bright and playful or she wants quite serious and contemplative and she's more in the spiritual realm and and these are the sort of color palettes that she's after and I can I can get a feel for the sort of energy level that you want in your shoot also hair and makeup because you're gonna want to make sure that you have um, awesome hair and makeup going down for your shoot and so this will help to inform the stylist the way that you want to look. Um, so that's it. You just What you'll do is you'll just add your URL so that's just the address that's at the top of the page of your Pinterest board and you can add that in here. Um, awesome. So the next thing is I want you to get just a little swatch or swatches of your primary colors for your brand just so that I can get a really good idea of what colors um, I need to be looking for because the more of your branding color that we can throw in, the more it's going to be aligned to your vision. The other thing is slap your logo in here so that I can have a look at that and know how to shoot around it because that will often either have your colors or it'll just have a vibe or a feel that I need to, to work with. The next step is I want you to figure out three words that best describe you as a person. And then I want three words that best describe your brand and what you're offering to the world. Because these are going to help me, if I can illustrate these photographically, it's going to really help you to have people understand what it's going to be like to work with you. Um, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to put down your brand promise. What is it that somebody's going to get from working with you? What is your mission of, um, well, first of all, what's your vision for what you're bringing to the world? For me, I mentioned it before, I want a world where everybody is free to live in the slipstream of their, of their natural talents and gifts. Um, and I do that by helping people photographically in a lot of different ways, but this is one of the ways. I mean, my mission um, is, uh, the vision is to see a world so that's the big picture. And then the mission is how I'm going to get there. And um, I want to know kind of what is your plan for seeing your big vision come to life? Because I can help illustrate it. And that's that's what we're that's what you're trying to do with your, your photo shoot. And what are the key benefits that you're going to be providing clients? So this is where you list, you know, what are those awesome benefits that people get specifically from working with you? Um, and the next one I want you to write down are what are your USPs? So what are your unique selling propositions of your particular company? So what makes you different from all of your competitors? And and it needs to be something ideally that your client, your your competitors can't emulate. It's just something that is inherently in you. Um, and if we can illustrate this, we have photographic gold and we have something that is so leverageable. So you need to have some thoughts about what is it that makes your service something they can't get from anyone else. Like for example, for uh, from my end, I'm a, I'm a woman of size and I have worked in obstetrics helping women to deliver babies. So one of my superpowers is I'm awesome at helping people to relax and feel comfortable in their own skin because I see beauty at every size and I know how to completely relax somebody for their photo shoot. So those are my unique selling propositions and these are the things that I try to explain and show off in my marketing. Um, and okay and then exam results. Now I've got in here some different tests that you can take to find out some awesome things about yourself. So some things that really help you um, to, to hone down who you are. Like for example, my favorite test on here is a wealth dynamics test um, because when you go in there, you're able to find out like seriously what your superpowers are. And for me, I changed my whole business model once I really wrapped my head around this. Um, the other ones, Whoops, are um, 
The Brand Alchemist, that's a brilliant one to help you with your branding ideas. Myers-Briggs um, and the College for Entrepreneurship. These kind of getting this whole palette of, of tests done, wow, you just really push forward in your understanding of who you are and what you provide. And by me seeing your results, I'm able to photograph you in a way that's really consistent with your natural gifts and talents. Now the next thing, and this is something I love to work on with clients, and that's to really figure out what sort of magazines their clients read. You know, who is your ideal client and what sort of things, what blogs and what magazines are they reading? Because then we can go and have a really good look at these sites and be like, oh, all right, we could write something for them. And then you can say that you're featured in that in that magazine or you're you've been featured in that um uh, in the newspaper, in that blog, whatever it is that's most frequently read. Um, and then we're going to photograph as if it were, we're illustrating it for that particular magazine. Um, because then you've got a lot of leverage to get in there. You'd be like, look, I've already got some beautiful imagery that you can use, that I own the, or I own the rights to use this and you can have it. Um, that is like a thing that's going to pop the lid off of a lot of different um, opportunities. So this is where I think having this beautiful photographic package is so amazing for your business and is so leverageable. So I'm going to have you pick three magazines and three blogs and then I want you to also buy the copies of those magazines and bring them along. Now this is my social proof explosion. I want you to pick three of those favorites from this side and I want you to outline three articles that you're going to write for them because then on the shoot we can try to illustrate those articles directly and it gives me a great fodder to work with in getting your photos as opposed to just posing and looking pretty, I've got stuff that is actually going to be massively leverageable for you. Um, and then the other thing I'm going to have you do is sometimes you may need props. Like um, I, I've got one client I'm about to work with and she's a branding uh, guru and she's also awesome at, at doing web design. And so she is really colorful, bright, vibrant. She has a history or background in theater. So I'm going to be creating very colorful, very playful things with her. And one of the things we're going to do is like throw glitter. We've got paints that we're going to squirt and do all kinds of stuff with. And this is all coming off of her Pinterest board. We've got beautiful backdrops and just get really cool, messy, painty, fun stuff. Just creative collaboration of awesomeness. Um, so she's going to need to have paints and glitter. And she's setting up a backdrop um, that we're going to work with. And just have a great time. But she's got to get those things organized before I rock up to do her shoot. So on this little part, she can actually go to add a card and this can be um, a shopping list. And then she can go in here and she can actually add a checklist. And um, so you just click on here and this is a shopping list. And she can click add, and then this, um, and then she can add items that she needs to have on her shopping list or to gather list. And then, so when she goes to the shop, she can actually go on her phone and then just click off, tick off each one of these, and um, and she's sweet, she's good to go. So um, that's there. So those are the main ones that you really need to be thinking about. Now over here, what I've done is I've written down some of the stuff that I do. So I do a series of facial riffs where I get you to um, run through a whole bunch of different expressions so that you have those on your website when you're wanting to illustrate a feeling. Um, because we get so much from that nonverbal expression. Um, so if you've got the, the text and the verbal there and then you have a picture of, you, of how you feel about what it is that you're writing, that helps to really imprint it into the mind of the person. Um, and then the next bit is editorial. So this is just shot list ideas. And I tend to generate a lot of this from the stuff that you you fed me in the beginning bits. And then I start to rift ideas that I can um, use to illustrate. Photojournalistic, these are, um, oh, sorry, the difference between editorial and photojournalistic. Editorial is like kind of something you'd see in Vanity Fair or something that's going to be a real key image for you. The other day I photographed a woman who is um, designs award-winning makeup 
from natural products and I had her laying on the ground and she was completely her hair was all splayed out in this gorgeous um gorgeous shapes and then I had her makeup scattered all around her and oh, I just looked lovely but that was an editorial shoot that I did with her um photojournalistic there's the the shot list um that you can have for that now this is just some fun stuff that you can add in if you're wanting to do have people get to know what you're about you can have your morning routine your home family working favorite sport favorite hobby favorite drink favorite food restaurant favorite place to work relax meditate these are just things that'll give you ideas of places you can go and, and shoot um Body language shots, these are those emotion shots all over again, but using your entire body to generate it. Um, often just getting different moves. You can also do directionals. So it's like pointing to the left, to the right, to up and down. If you want to have a feature um, thing happening in your image, like where you're pointing to a thought or a concept or something else. Um, and then detail shots. Um, these are like if you've got a product or... Um, if I'm just trying to get beautiful, colorful things that are going to look amazing on your site, um, kind of like what you think of when you're looking in a really high end magazine and they've just got the detail shots around a home or detail shots of what a person does. So, um, that's, that's kind of what we do. Um, and then classic headshots, um, that's just basically getting a variety of shots of you with kind of different levels of emotions um so yeah anyway um i really hope that this board will help you in planning your photo shoot i know it helps me and just having that list with me on my phone when i go out it's amazing so anyway take care um i'm gonna just oh i'll flick to my last slide that was the other thing i wanted to do yes indeedy um so what are your options you can do this all by yourself. You can hire a photographer. And if you go to my other websites, I've got stuff, um, or sorry, if you sign up to my list to get this Trello board, you're going to end up with um, a, a series of five videos. And one of them talks about, um, I think it's the last one, we talk a lot about what questions and stuff you need to ask when you're going to hire a photographer to help get one that's going to really resonate with you. And then the other option is, of course, you can hire me. And I do travel the world photographing business people. So um, don't feel like, oh, Mandy's in New Zealand. I can't get over there because very possibly I could be coming to your neck of the woods. So just give me a shout out because I'd love to work with exciting entrepreneurs. Um, and anyway, I'm playful. Um, and I'm fun, and we're going to have a great time, and I help you to get stuff done. So, um, yeah, we're going to get a lot done, and you're going to be able to leverage this massively. I, again, have won heaps of awards for my work. Um, I've got a portfolio in Vogue Italia. I'm featured in all of the, or many of the top magazines here in New Zealand. Um, and... Anyway, I also provide follow-up support to help you get seen. So once you become one of my uh, clients, you are a client for life. And I want to see you absolutely launch your business. And I will help you in any way that I can. And I've created a community of women that are like-minded and are supporting each other to get their social proof really out there and um, supporting each other. So anyway, you take care. And I will hopefully hear from you soon. See ya. Bye.